Surface Book 2, unboxed, back in a few seconds. What's up YouTube, Dave here with Seen Through a Lens and here I have finally, and I'll tell you finally in another video how difficult this was actually to get. However, here it is, the Surface Book 2, I'm going to be unboxing it right now. So. Uh, no knife today, let's uh, cut along here, I can't tell you how excited I've been to get this. Honestly, it's been an absolute nightmare and I'm going to be making a video very, very soon about my experience with Amazon and I can tell you now, it will not be pretty. Well, it wasn't pretty. So, one box, let's get rid of that. Another box, Microsoft Surface Book 2. Slide that out there. More packaging, let's drop that down there. So this is the um, 512 gigabyte um, i7 with the uh, GTX um, 1050 um, graphics card. So it's got a separate graphics card in it. So uh, fairly high end, like I said, uh, i7. So hopefully the performance is going to be good. I've actually got this to replace my Surface Pro, um, which I absolutely love, but doing anything that's uh, heavy graphics intensive just doesn't really cut it. Well, it, it does, in all fairness, it's not fair, it does, but the problem is you can't do anything else the computer at the time so if you're doing any kind of rendering editing um, actually exporting your video clips um, unfortunately you just cannot um, carry on doing anything else with it so I'm hoping this Surface Book 2 with the um, graphics card the extra um, Nvidia GTX graphics card in here is going to be a lot better so let's slide this off actually proven to be quite a tight fit. A lot of padding in that box. Let's put that aside. That is a heavy box. And uh, here it is. Let's take it out. Yeah, pretty light actually. Not bad at all. Um, I think actually this packaging is really, really heavy. Um, but anyway, um, let's move that to the side. Uh, here you have that's pretty heavy actually. That's the power brick. So let's get that out of there. Cable, power brick. Pretty much the same size as the Surface Pro one and still retaining the uh, USB A slot in there. So standard magnetic charger. I think you can use USB C on this particular device. Um, but I think it's a much slower charge, so you know, probably best to just use the power brick. Um, and here you've got the usual documentation. Now, you know, documentation. I don't think anyone reads the documents anymore, and that is it. I mean, that is one heavy weight box, so yeah. So, the main event, just going to move all of that over to the side. Yes, the quirky hinge, but actually in the flesh, not too bad. So, let's uh, take this packaging off. Feels pretty nice actually. Feels pretty nice indeed. Very nice. This is a 13 inch version as opposed to the 15 inch version. I think the 15 inch version has a much better, I say much better, I think it's got a six gig Nvidia GTX 60, whatever it is, um, graphics card in there, um, which is a lot better than the one that's in here, but this still should be notably better than uh, what I already had. So let's open it up. Kind of protection for the keyboard. And that's it, open. 
that's kind of it. Nice trackpad. Keep all the feels really, really nice. Um, I actually quite like the uh, touch covers for the, um, the Surface Pro. I've gotten used to it and been using it every day really for, uh, for my main keyboard. But uh, this is actually a proper keyboard. Travels really nice. Trackpad's big, quite smooth, good click. Um, I don't know if this is going to actually detach because it's... Um, oh, okay. So it's got half detached. Will it? Won't it? No. Oh, okay. Now? Ah, there we go. So, the tablet part detached. So the computer's actually not turned on yet, but obviously that uh, button, there's a little button here that detaches the tablet part. So the tablet part has the Iris graphics card in it, so if you want to use the extra graphics, you're going to have to use it docked. But undocked, this is pretty light, actually lighter than the Surface Pro, um, thinner as well, because I guess you know, there's still a lot of battery power in here. There's battery graphics um, and all the rest of it, so I'll just pop that down there for a second. On the side here, you've got a dedicated SD card slot, which is really good, handy for uh, transferring your camera and video footage. Um, you've got the USB-C um, it's not Thunderbolt, but it is um, USB-C, so connected to a dock for graphics, you know, HDMI and other bits and pieces. Um, and I think you can slow charge from there, but I'm going to be doing a full review on this um, as soon as I get it up and running. Today it's just the unboxing. Actually, that's the, not the SD slot, that's actually the magnetic connector, this connector. Uh, I'll try and get that in there. And so, um, actually, on the side here, you've got two USB three, USB A three sockets, and here you've got the um, the uh, the yeah the SD card slot. So uh, yeah, that's not it. Um, but yeah, I mean the base is pretty light. I mean the whole unit really isn't that heavy, to be honest with you. Um, heavier and bigger than a Surface Pro for sure, but. Um, yeah, I think uh, definitely this tablet panel is a lot lighter. Um, headphone jack on the side here, and then you've got your volume rockers and your on off switch on the top. Uh, I've actually just switched that on. Um, and you've got your usual cameras in here, front facing camera, rear facing camera, and microphones, etc. So yeah, I mean, all in all, it's uh, pretty nice. So uh, that's going to be setting up now. I'm not going to go through this video setting the whole thing up. But um, I think, you know, really nice unit. I'm going to just dock that back on there. There's no need to press any buttons. I think you just pop it back down and that's it. It's kind of locked in, um, very stable. This hinge, fulcrum hinge, I think they call it, is meant to be bulletproof. But yeah, so it's a, a bigger device than the um, Surface Book. But I think I'll get used to the size quite quickly. Uh, for the best part, I think for traveling, you know, the Surface Book um, should be good enough, um, light enough, I should say. Um, and really, yeah, I think it's a great device. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens. Be sure to subscribe. If you haven't uh, been to this channel before, please click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a review of this Surface Book 2 once I get it up and running. Um, but for now, that's the Surface Book 2 unboxed. I'm Dave with Sing for a Lens and I will see you the next time. Thank you.